Well, someone very special has been in touch with us and I'm really excited to say we get to bring you guys this story because, Carl, she met you in 2018 mm. as part of your show This Time Next Year and it had such a profound effect on her. This is actually life or death for me. There's no in the middle. What is your pledge, Kate? This time next year, I will have two transplants to save my life. What is it that you dream of doing? To honour that that person who has donated by living life to the extreme and giving back and hopefully attending my own wedding. So, did you get your double transplant? I most certainly did a couple of weeks ago. Yes. It's a lovely moment. Um, five years later, and we're thrilled to say Kate Hansen joins us now live in Melbourne. Kate, so good to see you. Look at Look you. Look at you. <laughs> so, so good well. to see you again. Thank you for having me. How are you? I am doing extremely well post-transplant. It's amazing. Well, tell us all about it. Well, I got my transplant four years ago this month. Uh, and since transplant, I'm no longer hooked up to a machine for five hours a day. Wow. Every second day, I am living life to the fullest and just enjoying every opportunity, still raising awareness and trying to help others at the same time. I mean, it had its moments, didn't it? I mean, over the last couple of years. Um, tell us about some of those struggles before we get on to the, the really positive stuff as well. Yeah, so obviously I had quite a bit of setbacks. Uh, I've had a few amputations. I only have six toes left. Um, but in the scheme of things, whilst transplant was a little difficult to begin with, it's given me my life back and not just my life, but every one of my family members and everyone who supported mm. me. It, it's the ultimate gift. Yeah. You had some pretty incredible pledges that you wanted to fulfil and one of them was attending your own wedding. Yeah. So, yes. have you and Zach tied the knot, your partner? Yes, we did. Yay. So, on March, Congratulations. 5th, <laughs> on March 5th, 2021, oh, after a few delays, but we got there. Beautiful. <laughs> How was it? It was absolutely magical. It was yeah. beautiful and everything we could have asked for. Oh, um, and obviously you guys are, are pretty close. Um, you know, after a wedding, uh, one thing leads to uh, another. Uh, any ex other exciting news? Yes. So, um, apart from all my charity work and things like that I do, I have returned back to work. That is unbelievable. I am working for Ray White Lara, doing all my fun property management stuff. But Zach and I recently found out we are also expecting our first child. No! Oh, congratulations! Yes. Thank you. I was Thanks. just being mischievous. I was just being mischievous. <laughs> like, um, how does that feel for you both? It's incredible. It's something that we never thought would come to fruition, given yeah. everything mm. I've been through. Um, but Aww. you know, we we got there, and my baby's a little miracle, and and that baby is definitely going to be an organ donor. Yeah. Um, and I mean. The, the family gave me an opportunity to live on mm. and now that gift not only allows me to live on but it lives on through the life of my child. Yeah, I mean, how could there couldn't be anything more beautiful than that, not only for you, but as you said, your beautiful child, due in June. Yes, absolutely. So due in June, I've got a lot on my plate, obviously working <laughs> full-time at Ray White Lara um, and organising charity events. I've got one coming up on the 5th of Feb, but yeah. that won't stop me. It's all part of raising awareness and continuing to mm. live life. Look, um, when I'm looking for a house, I always go to Ray White Lara. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. wonderful people. Um, also, can I say Out this? There. I just wanted to, you know, to, to ask how... How little Carlos is going. Um, <laughs> everything's okay. Little Carlos? <laughs> yeah. I somehow knew you were going to suggest that name, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting it. He's not subtle. Hey, no, look, you, not you, at all. You've been through a lot, um, and, and it is a, a great thing, mm. um, organ donation. And, yeah, and yeah. too few of us aren't um, signed up, and you have to go mm -hmm. through a, a couple of things to, in order to do that. Just remind mm -hmm. people of what to do. So you need to have the discussion with your family and let them know what your wishes are because at the end of the day, they have the final say. Uh, you can be a, a live donor or a deceased donor. You can transplant blood or plasma or, you know, in, in your passing, you can give someone like me the ultimate gift and prolong their life. Yeah. All you need to do is go to donatelife.com.au with your Medicare card number and sign up. But the most important thing to do is have that discussion mm. and how, let people know what your wishes are. How do you feel about your, your donor? Really deep I, down. I, on, I try to honour them every single day. I'm eternally grateful and all the charity work I do, working for the Zadies Rainbow Foundation, organising these charity events like the one coming up at the Altona Sports Club, is my way of saying thank you. 
um, and making sure that I am living my life to the extreme because I'm only message. alive because of that. Yeah. That's the only message. reason I'm here and it's the only reason my baby's on its way. Oh, it's well, just such a beautiful story. Let us Thank know, you. Kate, how you, how you go. Um, and Absolutely. when little Carlos comes along, it'll be great to meet you. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Absolutely. Congratulations again, Kate. Thank you so much, guys. All our love. Good to see you.